In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the horizontal asymptotes of the following functions using limits. Let us first recall the definition of a horizontal asymptote. The horizontal line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote of the graph of f if at least one of the following is satisfied. So limit at positive infinity is equal to b or limit at negative infinity is equal to b. Actually, there is an additional assumption here. It's not only limit at infinity equals b, but we also assume that the function values are not uh, equal to b. This is for all the x values that are greater than n for some n, for some number n. And also, uh, limit at negative infinity is equal to b, and we also assume here that function values are not equal to b for all x. This is for some number n. Let us now find the horizontal asymptotes of this uh, function here. So we want to find the limits at infinity of that function, limit at positive infinity and limit at negative infinity. Let us find the limit of this uh, as x goes to infinity. If we look at the form of this limit as x goes to infinity, the numerator also goes to infinity and the denominator goes to infinity. So we have a form, infinity over infinity, and this is an indeterminate form. So you need to do extra effort in order to evaluate the limit. And the trick in evaluating this limit is to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator. So in this case, we only have x raised to 1. So what we're going to do here is to divide the numerator and denominator by x. So you have here limit of x plus 5x squared over x. And then all over 2x minus 1 all over x. This is the same thing as multiplying the numerator and denominator by 1 over x. Now, we want to combine this into a single radical or put this uh, x here inside of this radical. So as x goes to infinity, we know that x is positive. So we can replace the x by square root of x squared. So we know that x is equal to square root of x squared. This is for x greater than 0. So therefore, we can write now our numerator as limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of x plus 5x squared over x squared because x is equal to square root of x squared and square root of like a over square root of b is just square root of a over b. And then over, you have here uh, 2x over x and then minus uh, 1 over x. And we can write this down as limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of uh, 1 over x and then plus 5 all over 2 minus 1 over x. Now the limit is already clear. As x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. And 1 over x again goes to 0. So therefore, the limit of this one is equal to square root of 5 over 2. So by definition of horizontal asymptote, since we have a limit as x goes to infinity, so therefore, the line y equals square root of 5 over 2 is a horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote of the function f. Okay? And this is, of course, our function f of x. Now let's find the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Do you think this is the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity? So uh, let's uh, compute for this uh, limit here. So this limit is still in the form uh, infinity over infinity. And we're going to use the same procedure as in the previous limit. So we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator, which is x. So you have here x plus 5x squared over x, and then over 2x minus 1 over x. But here you have to be very careful when you uh, insert the x in this uh, radical. Why? Because as you can see from here, x goes to negative infinity. And as x goes to infinity, we know that x is less than 0. So in that case, x can be written as negative of the square root of x squared. This is if you have a negative x. 
So therefore, we can now write our expression. So this is limit as x goes to negative infinity of. So we can now write the numerator as x plus 5x squared over x squared, but we have a negative sign. So this is from this one. So x is negative squared of x squared. And then over the denominator. So again, we have 2x over x and then minus 1 over x. And this is limit as x goes to negative infinity of the negative square root of 1 over x plus 5 over 2 minus 1 over x. And now the limit is clear. This goes to 0. This goes to 0. So the limit is just equal to the negative of square root of 5 over 2. Therefore, since the limit at negative infinity exists and it's equal to square root of 5 over 2, we can conclude that the line y equals negative square root of 5 over 2 is a horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote of the graph of f. Now let us find the horizontal asymptotes of uh, this uh, function g if they exist. Again, we have to find the limits at infinity and at negative infinity. So what is the form of this limit? So as x goes to infinity, we know that this uh, radicand here goes to infinity. And then this uh, 5x here also goes to infinity. So the limit has a form what? infinity minus infinity and we know that this is an indeterminate form again we need to do extra effort in order to evaluate this limit and a trick in evaluating this limit is using rationalization so uh, uh, think of this as a fraction with denominator one in this case uh, we want to rationalize the numerator which means we want to remove the radical in the numerator so how do we remove the radical in the numerator? So in this case, we have to multiply that expression by its conjugate. And the conjugate is just the sum. So we take the limit of this uh, expression here, square root of uh, 25x squared plus x, and then minus uh, 5x, multiply it with its conjugate. So conjugate is square root of uh, 25x squared plus x plus 5x over the same expression 25 x squared plus x and then plus 5x so this is equal to limit as x approaches infinity so the product of the numerators is special product sum in difference so it's the square of the first term so that is 25 x squared plus x minus the square of 5x so that is 25 x squared all over the denominator, square root of 25x squared plus x plus 5x. And as you can see here, we can simplify the numerator as x over the square root of 25x squared plus x and then plus 5x. Now, what is the form of our limit? The form of our limit is now infinity, again, infinity over infinity. So if you have uh, this uh, limit form, what you can do is, again, divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator. But you have to also consider the radical symbol. So in this case, it's like your highest power of x is square root of uh, x squared, which is equal to x. So we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by x that is the same thing as multiplying the numerator and denominator by 1 over x and again as x uh, approaches infinity we know that x can be replaced by square root of x squared Be this is true if x is greater than 0 so now we can write this limit as so limit as x goes to infinity you have here 1 over we combine it into a single radical this 1 times this Okay, you'll get 25x squared plus x over x squared. Okay, and then you have here plus 5. And we can write the radicand in this case, limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over square root of, you have here 25, and then plus 1 over x, plus 5. And now the limit is clear. 
as x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. So the limit is just equal to 1 over square root of 25 is 5 plus 5. That is equal to 1 over 10. Because the limit at positive infinity exists and it's equal to this number, then we can conclude that the line y equals 1 over 10 is a horizontal asymptote of the function g. So this is our function g of x. Let us now find the limit of g of x when x goes to negative infinity. Do you think uh, the limit is equal to the negative of this one? So let's find out. So as x goes to negative infinity, this polynomial here is dominated by the highest degree term, which is 25x squared. And the value of this is uh, what? Positive when x goes to negative infinity, and we can have as large as we want. So this one goes to infinity. So therefore, this radicand goes to infinity, and it follows that this square root goes to infinity. And if you look at this uh, second uh, term here, if we include the sign, okay, so negative 5 times a huge negative number, large negative number, then that will give you a large positive number. So this one here goes to infinity, and then this minus 5x also goes to infinity. So this is not an indeterminate form. We know that its value increases without bound as x goes to negative infinity. So the limit of this one is simply infinity. So therefore, there are no other asymptotes for g. So the only asymptotes for g is y equal to 1 over 10.